It has been worldwide accepted that Switzerland prolonged World War II with two years. Except by the Swiss themselves, of course. Only I say they prolonged the entire Second World War and the 12 years of Hitler's reign. And here's one of those Swissies helping doing that. And his name was Emil Georg Burler whose family came right next to the Swiss border from a town called Kappel am Rhein, just a few kilometers away. And he himself was born in 1890 in Pforzheim, Germany, right in the area of the ethnic Swiss as well. And that makes him not a German but an ethnic Swiss, like the rest of the Nazi gang, like Mengele, Himmler, Julius Streicher, Christian Wert, etc., etc. As I've explained in my other videos on my channel, Gure, like Auschwitz made in Switzerland, or the Huns from the Alps, explaining exactly what an ethnic Swiss is. So here they are, the, uh, the, the father, Burle, and the son, Burle, selling all those Swiss guns, to wannabe dictators, like this one here, looks like Haile Selassie. This one here, probably looking at the barrel of the gun. And here, and here, you know, guns for dictators, you know. And in the same years of the early 20s, when Hitler and um, Rudolf Hess were in Zurich, also Mr. Emil Burler went to Zurich, Switzerland and bought the entire Erlikon gun factories, later on supplying the Nazi war industry with shells, grenades and cannons by the Swiss industrial complex, see my video on that, see my video on the Swiss industrial complex, through which World War II was helped to be prolonged by two years, and the most terrible years of the entire world war that was. Later on, Burle, the ethnic Swiss war criminal, became well known for his looted Nazi art collection, with stolen paintings by the Nazis, who just murdered the rightful owners, so the looted art could be transported to the motherland in the Alps. And he never had any problems with the Swiss authorities because of that who totally agree with any good business transaction for the motherland of all evil in the Alps. Unless you criticize them like I did, then they even have special Swiss laws to put anyone in prison who criticizes Switzerland. I'll show you that later. How come all these octagon Nazis can possibly combine artworks and classical music, being the fine art of the human race, together with war, destruction and children being torn to pieces. And they were all like that. Hitler, Goering, Heydrich and the most terrible sadist camp commandants. Well, this is the typical Swiss schizophrenic pathology portraying a clean Switzerland on the one hand while hiding the worst from us, with all the terrible things going on up in the Alps conspiring against humanity through the octagon. So here is his son, Dieter Buerler, who continued, continued the international gun deals of the Swiss industrial military complex with all sorts of dictatorships and finally with South Africa, for which he got sentenced to prison, which the Swiss later on changed into a fine of 20,000 Swiss francs. The exact same amount to which I was sentenced for speaking out on YouTube in my historical documentaries and had to go to prison for that, where they tortured me for not doing anything wrong. And here you can see Erlikon, Burle Erlikon, the Swiss military industrial complex. So, rich Swiss criminal octagon Nazi arms dealers get the same 20,000 Swiss francs fine and don't go to prison. And innocent YouTubers serve years in Swiss torture detention facilities for not doing anything wrong at all. That's Octagon Switzerland with different laws for different people 
and not everyone being equal. Burle Erlikon also owns the Pilatus poor man's bomber for local genocides. See my vid here about that. Believe me, Octagon Switzerland is the base of all evil from which wars and mass slaughter are brought upon mankind. And this one here, Emil Burle, and later on his son, his son Dieter, uh, was another ethnic Swiss working for the Nazis and prolonging World War II with two years for Octagon to get Octagon rich and powerful. Another ethnic Swiss to be put on the list. Yeah, I well, hear another article about the uh, Burle. Yeah, I put in the links for you. A Swiss merchant of death's Nazi friends and suspicious masterpieces. A famous manufacturer of anti aircraft guns collected hundreds of paintings in Nazi occupied Paris with some help from Hermann de Goering. Now, what happens to them? Well, nothing. You know, they, all get, they all get protected in Switzerland. And here it says, the richest man in Switzerland. Yeah. The richest man in Switzerland. Um, this is Octogon. Put in the links for you. So this is from the Independent. Dieter Burle, controversial arms dealer. And I'll show it to you where it says 20,000. You had to pay 20,000 Swiss francs yeah, to get out of prison. I mean, they didn't even sentence me to a prison sentence. They can't, you know, so they sentenced me also to 20,000. But then the other way around, they, um, I had to go to prison for one year and two months. They, they, they ruined my wife financially, they ruined us. We're already living under the minimum, existence minimum, you know. This is Switzerland. Highly criminal. So here's the Wikipedia. Um, he was born of uh, Emil Georg Bühler. He was born in Pforzheim, which is here in the south of Germany. This is Alemannic and they are ethnic Swiss, as I explained in my other videos. It's almost in Switzerland. And uh, his family came from here, Kappel am Rhein, which is, which is almost in Switzerland, even more south, where you can see the red dot. I put the link in the uh, description for you. Yeah, the Burle Hermann Göring collect art collection in Switzerland in Zurich, and they never have any problems with the authorities. Yeah, moreover, Switzerland received the looted assets of concentration camp victims, and in return gave Germany hard currency to buy war material from other countries. These dealings enabled the Germans to prolong the war for two years. And also the Burle Erlikon um, gun deals. Uh, they prolonged prolong the war, but actually Switzerland financed and organized the entire war. They prolonged the entire Second World War, if you know what I mean. So it says, under Swiss law, citizens, citizens may ask the federal prosecutor for a criminal indictment for acts against the country. You know, that's what I did, acts against the country. You go to prison, you know. So this was in the New York Times. It's a highly corrupt criminal country and they are behind it all. Switzerland is the base of all evil. They did it. It has been worldwide accepted that Switzerland prolonged World War II with two years. Except by the Swiss themselves, of course. Only I say they prolonged the entire Second World War and the 12 years of Hitler's reign. Yeah. 